Hey folks, how y'all doing today? Doing a little update on my uh, my uh, Vire 94, my wood stove, my hybrid, my biomass hybrid heater wood stove, and I'm showing my little updates I did to it. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it. Leave me plenty of comments and let me know how you like it. All right, here we go. I uh, went ahead. Uh, did a little work yesterday for a buddy of mine, another YouTube buddy of mine. We uh, built some solar uh, um, panel towers. And well, here we go. Um, we put some fire brick on my stove yesterday. He went and got the fire brick for me. And we installed that in there. And left about an inch or two inches away from the dampers. We're get plenty of, oh, I gotta get the light in here, dark. <laughs> and anyway, got the grate in there, got the fire brick, went up about halfway up the stove. And uh, let me see if I get a wider lamp angle on this light there. Old mag light. Oh yeah, there we go. But anyway, y'all can see where we got the angle up there. The angle up there, my welds, my weld the verts. That way I can get the fire brick out in case anything ever cracks. Fire brick, I got extra fire. You got me some extra fire brick. And anyway, looking pretty good. Fired up once it gets colder. But yeah, got a line of fire brick now. So yep, it's. Looking pretty good. That'll help perform better. I took a lot of y'all's advice. Said, well, would you put fire brick on there? I said, you know, that's not a bad idea. Help insulate the stove and help everything last longer. And uh, just kind of adjusting the slide out. But anyway, and up here are my air tubes. I don't know if we saw them on the last video or not. Those are my air tubes. There we go. And there is my drip system right there. That is my nozzle where my waste oil heat. And back there, let me see if I can zoom in. Back there is where my flue goes up. And that's going up toward my, you know, to the chimney. Let's see. Yes. I believe that's it. Yeah. Let me see. Yep. Yep, there, there's a hole right there. Okay, there it is. Found the hole. It's always a good thing. Alright. But there are my air tubes. One, two, there. And that's where my hot air comes through. And let's see. Yeah. Alright. But anyway, fire brick lined. And let me see, get this camera to adjust right. But yeah, anyway, y'all, it got great. The grate is sitting roughly about two inches off the floor. And you see my my bar I got there. That's about one inch, one inch by inch and a half bar. Uh, that I got my grating well uh, welded to. And this is like industrial type grating. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. My updates, my upgrades. And that's the Vire 94. I'll give you another little tour of this. Turn this mag light off. But yeah, I, I love it. That's a good little stove. It does the job. Alright, let me get it here. We're going to videotape a little butter. Yep, just want to give you a little updates on what's going on. And right here is my 90 ball valve again. And that's what you open up to let the oil do its thing when you, when you need some. And this is my duct work that comes from the back of the, uh, that's where the air tubes are coming through there, the, the boiler tubes, slash air tubes. And here's my fan. They come from Granger, many, many years back in the 70s and still working. And that um, sucks the air in here, 
and then it goes into the back of my stove and it goes on up and right through there and that's the air that's all air duct right here right there and that's how everything is heated all right then i cut some wood today went and took me a trip in the woods my foiler gotta do a little work to this one right here you gotta put a new carburetor on it I was gonna get, put a kit in it but the bowl's hanging and uh, uh, it's leaking uh, fuel out of the drain, the bowl drain. So I'm just going to throw a new carburetor on it and give it a shot. And save the old one and then, then rebuild it. Alright. Nice sunny day. We're making some power today, y'all. Um, went in the woods and took my little John Deere wagon. I built the size on that thing. And uh, I cut a whole whole small oak tree today about, I'm going to say about 12 inches in diameter. There's an old dead tree out there, but it was still good. Still got a good center of the wood. And I put my wagon bottle on out the woods, or right where I hunt at. And, uh, yeah, that's my little Honda 350 Rancher. But I put my new starter on that thing. It's got a bad spot in the starter, so i got to be doing that too. That's another project. But anyway, uh, here's my wood I cut today. So, and that's more wood that um, they're rebuilding the house behind us. A lot of that's maple and different stuff. A mixture of everything, but hey, it's good dry wood. Uh, it's been curing here for a while. And this is really good dry wood here. This is oak. But see what I, what, see what I mean by... Uh, this outer ring right here, this, this, I can't point at the same time, but this outer ring is like the kind of, the, the, like the, I call it dirty, kind of like half rotten, half good, and then get towards the center, that's more good, that's more good wood right there, as you can see right there, but it'll burn, it'll burn pretty good, and it's nice and dry, so that'll do real good, but that's all hand split with a, I just got an axe. And a four pound hammer and a you know, maul. And uh, let's put me some wood. Alright, get back to things going on here. Hadn't had any wind in a while. Remember wind turbines. That's my new, uh, that is my new, my new 1000 watt wind generator on the back I had a HY400 on there man now I got a HY1000 high energy 1000 watt 24 volt with the new blades on it and that is my old uh, older 1000 watt HY energy high energy 1000 watt 24 volt wind turbine and the solar is doing its thing today it is doing its thing Alright. Alright. And the stack, I've had a couple fires in it so far. Here it is from a kind of a distance. My battery's going dead, so I'm going to have to go, y'all. Alright. This is a quickie. I just want to say thank y'all for watching. And um, y'all have a good one, y'all. Please subscribe. Alright, y'all take care. Alright. Bye-bye. Find his button. There you go.